Okay, here's how to do this be right back thing in, in OBS if I just... Okay, so there's a few things you need to download. First off, the OBS freeze filter, just a, just a plug-in, just download it, install it, pretty easy. And then also Streamerbot, which is another program, very versatile, we'll be using it for today. And then lastly, just the overlay. I'll leave it all in the description for you. First thing in OBS we're gonna do is bring in that overlay, whack it on top of everything. And there's a couple of properties we need to tweak on this. Firstly, right click, properties, Make sure we have restart playback when source becomes active, toggled on, and that's all good there. And then secondly, we need to go into audio mixer and then advanced audio properties on the video. And we'll see here, audio monitoring. Now, depending on how you've got your audio set up, depends on what you'll need to set here. Personally, I've got it so I hear exactly what my stream hears. So I'm gonna have monitor only mute output. If you've got your stream hearing something different to what you're hearing, you'll probably want monitor and output. But for me, this is good. All right, so that's pretty sorted. Now we just need to make sure we have this keyed out because at the moment, it's, it's kind of bad. So just right click, filters, add chroma key. Cool, uh, we'll, just, we'll just restart, restart this. Okay, we'll, pa we'll pause it there while it's fully in. Okay, so the few things you can tweak in here. Similarity is, is how similar of a green it's gonna select. A little smoothness. Uh, honestly, just, just twiddle with these until, it, until it's about right and how you want it. Um, I personally like just whacking up this key color spill suppression and that just gets rid of all the green from the key. And, and that, that's fine for me, you know? That, I think that's fine. Let's just give that a play. Cool. Now comes adding in the filters and the filters are the thing that makes the, the thing freeze. So I'm gonna go onto my camera and I add a filter. I've already got my basic color correction on here. I'm just gonna add one more filter called freeze. <laughs> okay, and straight away you can see it's frozen my camera with the filter on and now filter off. There we go. Back working again. Toggle it back on, frozen again. Toggle it off, you get, you get it. Now I've timed this overlay and it's, it's about three seconds long. So if we put 3000 MS in here, if we toggle the filter on, you'll see it freezes for three seconds. And then once that three seconds over, it, un, it unfreezes. That's all we need to do on that. So copy that filter. And then we'll also go on to anything else you want to freeze. So I've gone to the filter of the, of the seal and paste. And now just check that's working. Yeah, hit freeze, it freezes. All good. Okay, now we need to set up StreamerBot to make it all work magic. So open it up and we're gonna go into Streamer Apps and we need to link it to our OBS. And this does it through webhooks. So right click, add, and we'll just name this OBS for now. And now depending on the version of OBS you're on, if you're on OBS 28 or later, you can set this to version five. And then host and port, you can probably leave these default unless you've changed them. But to make sure, go into your OBS, Go to tools, go to OBS WebSocket settings, and you'll you'll see you'll see what your things are. And make sure while you're in here to enable WebSocket server. And make sure this is ticked to the top. You can set a password as well if you want to. I haven't, I don't, I didn't want to. And just hit apply once you're done. That's all good. Double check your settings across the streamer bot. Um, that's all fine. Auto connect on startup, reconnect on disconnect, and hit OK. And now if we just right click at this and hit connect, it will say connected. So now we can get into the meat of Streamerbot. So we're going into the actions tab and we're gonna add a new action. We'll call this be right back. For now, I'm just, I'm, I'm not gonna do it, touch any of this stuff because we don't need to for this. We don't need to just now. Um, you only need it if you're adding tons of stuff. I recommend watching Nutty's video on it. He's he's a wizard when it comes to anything streamable or anything OBS, so go watch his videos. <laughs> okay, so now we need to add in the commands of what we want it to do. So we basically need to, to turn on the video, enable the filters, and then reset itself. It's not a, not a complex one. So right click, add, sub action and we're going to obs and then we'll find what we need um set a source visibility state i found it there we go all right so our scene scene our, our source uh we'll be right back set state visible cool and now right click add obs set filter state 
and we select our source again, camera and freeze. Set state visible. I'm gonna copy this one, change to our video call. Now we'll add in a delay as well. Right click add delay, 3000 because that's how long the video is. And finally add in turning off the video feed. Cool. And now we don't need to turn off the filters uh, on the camera and, and, and the video feed because we set it up earlier to only last three seconds anyway. So we just need to tell it to turn on. We don't need to tell it to turn off because it does it automatically. That's all done. But now we just need to make it trigger off something. And in StreamerBot, you can do a bunch of things to make it trigger. You, you can do platform integrations with, with donations if you want. You could do it with Twitch chat points. But what we're gonna do today is add in a hotkey. We're just gonna add in a hotkey trigger. I'm just gonna set it to space, control, control space, just, just for ease of showing. And select our action. Bada bing, bada bong. All right, so now if we hit control space on our keyboard and put a weird face. It's, it's, it's fine. There we go. It's all sorted. It's all sorted. It's done. It's that easy. Um, have fun. Get, get learning streamer bot. It's very versatile. Um, 